Hey guys, Vladimir here with another Fusion 360 tutorial and today we're going to go ahead and model one of these GoPro polyhedron cases. So you see the idea here, basically you can put the GoPro here in different orientations and it's got different angles um, that you can position it to get the shot that you're looking for. Uh, they're pretty popular, there's a few on Thingiverse uploaded and also if you just go on Amazon you'll see there's one here for $16 uh, that you can buy or you can just 3D print your own. So um, I'm gonna take a different approach here with the modeling. Uh, usually when I model, I, you know, I go in and I um, start with a sketch and then I get the uh, angles I need and extrude them out. But with this approach, we can simply just go ahead and select the face we wanna to manipulate to give it an angle and that's it. Um, so there'll be cases where this will be the more efficient route and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. All right, I'm gonna move fairly quick through this. If you're new to Fusion 360 and you prefer a slower pace, you're gonna to wanna to check my intro design course. I'll leave a link below. All right, let's begin. I'm gonna start with a sketch and we'll choose this uh, blue, red, or ZX plane. I'm gonna grab the center rectangle and we'll go ahead and give this a dimension of 40 by 15. I will stop sketch and then extrude this out to be 22 millimeters. Uh, next, this is just uh, my preference. I'm going to go ahead and give this a face here a color, which is just going to make it easy for me as I move this around to always know where I am without even looking at my view cube here. So I'm going to hit A for appearance and the appearance box pops up. And we'll go ahead and I can really choose anything, but I'm going to go ahead and grab paint here and I grab the yellow. Before I do that, I want to make sure to switch this from body slash components to faces. And now I can just grab the paint and just color that particular face. Okay, like I said, that just makes it easy for me as I move around. It's not necessary. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and is to grab the move tool. So I'm going to hover over the face I want to move and uh, right click and just come down to move. Um, this was actually... Um, is a feature that was released in Fusion's latest update, the January 2017. Um, you could do this before, but you would have to actually stop um, design history capture, and then it would let you move these faces. Um, the latest update, you don't have to stop design uh, history. You can actually just do it right in timeline mode. So, okay, what I'm, we're going to do is I'm going to change, or I'm going to keep this in fa as faces. Um, the selection is already selected. Now default is going to be on free move which is fine you can go ahead and use this um, and you have all these options that allow you to rotate and translate um, but I don't really need to see all that so I'm going to restrict this to just rotate and then as the uh, axis here I'm going to choose this bottom axis and then I can just you know go ahead and move this to whatever angle I want so I'm going to go ahead and give this a negative 60 for this side uh, go ahead and grab the other side. It remembers my previous selection, so all I need to do is select the axis here and go ahead and give this one negative 45. And now for these sides, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, go ahead and give this a negative 40. And I'll do the same thing with this side. Now, you know, you can make these whatever angles you want, uh, which is, you know, what the great thing uh, with 3D printing is, is customization. So this will get you started though. So the last angle I'm going to give it here is this bottom uh, bottom face here. I'm going to go ahead and just give this one a uh, negative 10 degree. So I'm selecting this edge here and we'll go ahead and do a negative 10 that way. So now that I've got my angles all in, I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch on this top plane. So I'm going to create sketch, sketch uh, select the top plane and also grab that center rectangle start at the origin. Now I measured my GoPro and I got a dimension of uh, 41 millimeters uh, by 59 with uh, 21 millimeters thick. So I'm going to use that information to go ahead and draw my next rectangles. And I'm going to be dealing with a 0.5 millimeter tolerance here um, so that it will actually fit when I 3D print it. So the first um, rectangle I'm going to draw is going to be so that it'll fit in this orientation. So that's going to be 21 point, actually that's 49.5, oh, I'm sorry, 41.5 by 21.5. 
Um, so that's the rectangle I want, and that'll be my first extrusion. I'll go ahead and just uh, grab the second rectangle here, and this one is going to be in this orientation here. So uh, again, it's 21.5 by 59 millimeters. And then I'm going to draw one more rectangle, and that one is going to, going to uh, be for this orientation here, which is going to be 41.5 by 59.5. Okay, so you should have basically three rectangles here. Um, it can be a little confusing um, looking at all this. What can help is actually just moving your dimensions out so that they don't get in the way of your, um, your actual... Uh, construction uh, lines here. So we'll uh, make sure you've got 21.5, 21.5, and 59.5 on this side, and on this side we'll do 41.5, 41.5, and 59.5. So we're really looking at three separate rectangles here. That middle one, the sort of wider one here, so I guess I'll select this one. That's one, and then this, this, and this is a second one and then this, this, and this is our third rectangle. So, okay, now that we have all that, we can go ahead and start extruding. Um, actually, I see a mistake here. I didn't give this 59 my uh, tolerance value. That should be 59.5. Uh, make sure that these all match and that they all end in 0.5, otherwise your tolerance is going to be off. Okay, oh, and the 59.5, I should say, is what I found works with my 3D printer. Um, I'm using a replicator, too, to print this out. Um, and usually, you know, I do like a 0.4 millimeter uh, to give me a nice snug fit. Um, I decided to go a little more here with 0.5. It may be different for your printer, um, so you may have to experiment. So I'm going to stop sketch and m make sure your sketch is turned on here. If it, you know, turned out, you don't see it, just turn on the light bulb. And that first extrusion, I'm just going to go ahead, navigate to my right side here, zoom in a little bit, and we'll go down to negative 17 millimeters. And that's that. We'll go ahead and grab our second uh, one here, so I'll turn the sketch back on. Uh, that's going to be this profile plus this profile. And for that, we'll go down a negative 8 and we have that and in our last extrusion we'll grab this and this profile and we'll go down to we'll do a negative four all right so you should have something that looks like this and next what we're going to do is we'll go back into that sketch so uh, we can just double click here on sketch two and I'm going to set an offset around the whole thing and also extrude that down. So uh, we'll go ahead and go to sketch and go down to offset. We'll have to select them individually. So we'll select this rectangle first and uh, drag this out, give it an offset of negative three millimeters. And we'll then do the same thing with this uh, rectangle here, negative uh, three. Um, all right, so now you can see when I uh, just hover my mouse over here, this whole thing is highlighted. So I'll go ahead and hit E uh, for extrude, select that outer profile, and I'm just going to drag this all the way down. Um, for distance, I'm just going to choose all and click OK. Let me uncheck sketches here, and um, you can see this taking shape. So you should end up with a shape like this. Um, next, what I want to do is actually we'll extrude this up a little bit. Um, so you want to verify right now that this edge here, move this up a bit, um, you've got nine millimeters there. Uh, this edge is eight millimeters right here. That's coming up at four. I want to make it a little bit um, higher actually. So I'm going to just select this and I'm going to go up uh, two millimeters. So I'm just going to enter two. Uh, now if I select this, it should show six. Okay, so that looks good. Um, what I'm going to do is actually I want this um, not to be here. I'm going to extrude this down, but I, I just want these little bumpers on the side um, so that it'll hold the GoPro in place. Uh, the, the GoPro in place. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go to um, Sketch, Create Sketch, and I'm going to create a sketch on this surface. And the way I'm going to approach this, and I'm just going to grab the L to uh, the line with uh, by clicking L. 
Uh, just draw a line right here and I'm going to take that hit X to make it a construction line. And then I'm going to draw two lines, one here, one from here to here. And just to make sure those are vertical, I'm going to go ahead and grab that uh, vertical, horizontal slash vertical constraint and just click on those. Um, so now that they're all vertical, I'm going to go ahead and grab that symmetry constraint right here. And the way this works is uh, I click my first line, my second line, and then the third line is going to be the line that I want them to be symmetric about. So that's going to be this line here. Now, as you can see, I can move this and they will be symmetric um, about that line. So let's go ahead and give this a dimension now. So I'm going to hit D and we'll dimension it from this line here or that edge. And I'm going to go three millimeters. All right. Now I'll just go ahead and stop sketch and we'll bring that sketch uh, make it visible and I'm just going to select um, this profile here E for extrude bring this down and I'm going to go uh, from distance I'm going to go to object I'm going to select this face here and then I'm going to select extend faces and click OK and that will bring that down to meet that face okay next thing we're going to do is if you uh, look right here notice when I and uh, put in my GoPro um, the problem is that it'll actually the power button will be pressed against by this edge and it'll actually turn on the GoPro so we have to make a little inset here in order um, to avoid that uh, so to do that what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a sketch on this surface here so we're gonna go to sketch create sketch choose that plane or that surface and uh, we're going to go ahead and click slice here so that it'll actually get ev get rid of everything that's in the way and I can see the actual um, face I'm sketching on. So I'm just going to hit R for a uh, rectangle and just sketch a rectangle here. And I'm going to make this, uh, we'll do 14 millimeters by, uh, we'll do 10 this way. And then D for dimension, I'll dimension this out um, from this edge. Try that again. Uh, all right, over constraint. Why is it over constraint? Um, I'm gonna want to get rid of. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's get rid of this constraint here. We'll try it again. This edge, this edge, 3.5. There we go. E for extrude, and I'm gonna just push this in negative one millimeters. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side because when we turn our GoPro the other way, we'll have the same problem. I can't mirror it because it's not going to be on this side. I want it to be actually on this side. So we'll just redo that sketch. Uh, select this face, choose slice, R for a rectangle. Uh, we're going to do 10 by 14. Give this a dimension of... Uh, keeps constraining do the same thing. Let's delete that constraint there. Um, again, this line from this edge. Uh, you know what? I want actually this line from this edge. 3.5. Uh, okay, that looks good. E, E for extrude. Go in negative one millimeters. So click OK. I'm going to go back to that other sketch because I, I think I might have chosen the wrong edge there for that distance. So let's um, go back to the um, this sketch right here. Uh, notice I clicked it right on the timeline. Um, so yeah, I don't want it. realize I don't want it from that edge. So I deleted that and I'm going to choose. Um, actually, let's go ahead and slice this first. And I'm going to choose D, let's hit escape, D from this edge or this line to this edge and make that 3.5. Um, okay, that looks good. So I'm going to stop sketch. Uh, I've got those inset. Um, let's see what's left to do. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in some fillets. So F for fillet. Let me do this guy and this guy here. Uh, we'll give this a about a four millimeter fillet. That looks good. Um, let us do the sides over here. So I'm going to choose one, two, three, and four. Uh, we'll go with a three millimeter fillet for those. I'll hit enter. 
Um, let's do this edge here. I'm going to choose this top and bottom and this top and bottom. Uh, we'll do a two millimeter fill it there. And let's see what else. I'm going to fill it this edge here just because this kind of rubs a little bit uh, on the, um, the power button. I, I didn't notice any problem. It wasn't pushing it in, but just to be sort of extra cautious, I'm going to give this a little bit of a fillet um, so that it just definitely won't be a problem. Uh, we'll grab those four edges and I'll, uh, I think I'll also do a three millimeter fillet there. All right, that looks good. I think that's it. Let me just give this a quick look over to make sure I'm not forgetting anything else. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I want to do. Um, so that looks good. What uh, I will show you one more thing actually. Um, if I go ahead and send this to my 3D printer, if I go to uh, make 3D print, choose my object. I'm going to send it to the MakerBot so I'll just click OK and it'll open up um, MakerBot Desktop and you'll notice it'll come in the same orientation that I have it set up in Fusion uh, which is <laughs> I don't want it to print like this. That's possibly the worst orientation I can choose. Um, so instead of trying to manipulate it here within MakerBot Desktop it's going to be a lot easier to do it in Fusion. So I'm going to close this out. The best way to go about that is to go ahead and choose the Align tool. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn on my origin and I've decided that I'm going to want this side here flat uh, on the bed as my orientation. So um, what I'll do is I'll go to modify align and you'll get this box. You'll have a from and a to selection. So I basically want this um, oriented along this X Y plane here. So I'm going to select that and that will automatically flip this. Um, so we'll go ahead and click OK. Um, take a look and I'll show you what I mean. So uh, the printer, I'll just turn off the bodies for a minute to show you. When you open up Fusion, um, this uh, this is the default orientation where it has the Y um, axis as go being up. Well, in most applications, Z is always up, right? So if I flip it this way, and this is how MakerBot Desktop is arranged, so that Z is up, and you have your X and your Y. So what I'm going to do, or what I just did, is I turned it so that this bottom here is lying flat uh, with that Y or that X Y plane, um, and that this is up. So now notice when I go ahead and send it to the printer, make 3D print, choose my object, click OK. Um, it's going to bring it to MakerBot Desktop um, in that the orientation I set it in Fusion so that this is flat along that bottom. Um, now this is the front of my printer so I'm just going to go ahead and um, turn it about this uh, or rotate it about the z-axis here and I'm going to want it to print in this orientation here. So that's perfect. Make sure it's flat. And all right, it's good to go. think if you have any questions leave it on the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials take care